Hi everybody, I'm Charlie from Green Panic, your garden assistant. This video contains subtitles and you can enable them by clicking on the closed caption icon here. For other languages, take a look at the subtitle settings by clicking on the wheel here. If you like the project and want to help, please subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button, click on the like if you find the video interesting, and feel free to let us know what you think, leaving a comment below. Today, I'll show you how to calibrate your EC and pH sensors. Water sensor calibration is very important to get accurate results. As we know now, good EC and pH readings are key elements in order to have strong plants and high yields. Every water sensor will see its sensitivity change over time. For example, you can see on this chart, we have a real liquid pH value of 7 in red and we have a pH reading made by your pH sensor. At the beginning, the reading is on the value of calibration. If we don't calibrate the sensor after a few weeks, it will change little by little and after a while it will be very erratic and far from the real value. When you calibrate your sensor, like for example every month, it will correct the sensor and you will be assured that you will read the real value of your solution. For this purpose, we provide calibration solutions. The solutions have a known pH and EC value that allows the system to correct the sensor values. So let's proceed with a real case scenario. Go in your water sensor interface and enter the EC category. Enter the calibration menu, the calibration window will appear. Each sensor is factory calibrated and will need two different solutions for calibration and accuracy. Take your EC and pH sensors out of the sensor filter, clean both sensors with water and dry those gently with some tissues. Be careful not to touch the sensing part too much as it's quite fragile. Take the first calibration solution, the one for EC as number one on the cap and two for pH. Fill half of both sensor caps with calibration solutions. Screw the caps back on the sensors. Check the sensors a bit to mix the solution. If the sensing part isn't in the solution, add some more. Go back on your computer or smartphone and click on Launch Calibration. The device will automatically detect the calibration solution and correct the sensor's reading. Now go in the pH menu and do the same. Click on Launch Calibration. In the new window, click on Launch Calibration. Clean both sensors with water and dry those gently with some tissues. Again, be careful not to touch the sensing parts, cause it's quite fragile. This time, take the second calibration solution, the one for EC as the number 3 on the cap and 4 for pH. Fill half of both sensor caps with the calibration solutions. Screw the caps back on both sensors, check the sensors a bit with the solution. If the sensing part isn't in the solution, again, add some more. This is the same process as before, go back on your computer or smartphone, go in the EC menu and click on Launch Calibration. The new window will appear, click on Launch Calibration again. When it's done, do the same for pH. Unscrew both sensor caps, rinse them with water and put the sensors back in the floater. Now put the floater back into your water tank. Congratulations, your sensors are now calibrated. Enjoy! Thank you for watching this video. If you want to support us, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you got any questions, you can write them in the comment section. You can also visit our website and social networks to get the latest news. And you can subscribe to the newsletter so that you can be part of the product test program. See you next time. Bye!